Hi guys, it's Nika Bukova and if you're looking in the internet and seeing different pictures of Turkish Angora and you are wondering why they are so different, watch this video to know the answer. Coming up! Um, so doing some research in the internet, you can see that uh, the pictures of Turkish Angora can be uh, quite different between each other. So I think there are a couple of reasons of, to it and so I think the main reason is our history. So is, as any breed, Turkish Angora breed is advancing, is changing. And so for many many years uh, the breed is constantly in genetic improvement. So we are selecting the best cats throughout, um, throughout a certain period. And also the standard of the organization during the many, many years is changing. So we are going towards a more beautiful, more elegant cat. And um, you can still have a variety of cats in the world. You can still have the extremes of that advancement because um, like they are not um, extinguished or anything like you can still find the cat that is less elegant or less extreme or less whatever and I think it's it's because um, first of all there are not so many breeders so um, there are breeds that are um, modified much more modified than the Turkish Angora and in comparison the Turkish Angora has pretty much stayed um, close to its origins so we didn't modify it genetically so much um, so that means that you will have uh, probably more healthier cat uh, compared to other breeds like say compared to Persian cat that um, originally had uh, didn't have that flat nose um, and didn't have that for for hair, so like um, Turkish Angora uh, is advancing as well. And so when you are seeing a picture of very hairy cat, that uh, doesn't mean that it's not Turkish Angora, and it, it doesn't doesn't mean that um, I don't know it doesn't have pedigree. It's just that um, there are more elegant cats now, and we are going toward that way, and there are more slim cats um, uh, the modern way like the, the more modernized uh, cat will have like um, more extreme um, uh, characteristics or features um, so we we like some features about the cat and we want to stress them so in the future generations we can generate like more of that feature if we like it so there will be like um, different shades of breeders that will um, like they will go towards um, one extreme or another one, or they will be in between with all the shades of that of whatever that means. So all the shades of grey in the middle. Um, so you will be able to choose which type of Turkish Angora you would like best. Either you go to one extreme or another one, or either you want something in the middle or you would like more than in the middle but not so much as an extreme, say. Um, so when you, you are selecting a kitten, um, focus on whatever you like best. And with your vote, we would know as breeders what would you uh, prefer in the future. Like speaking generically, like speaking um, in in total right so if you're buying more um say ha uh, cats that have more hair for example on their tail so we would know that that is considered in maturity for the buyers as beautiful or if you're going towards one extreme that is more elegant and more um uh, like more stressed some other features like not hair or I don't know some eyes features or ears features like of the cat or maybe a color of the cat like say you would like I don't know chocolate Turkish Angora or whatever color you would prefer like gray with something whatever um, it's obviously have like um, uh, like it, it obviously has the, the 
breeder input in the Turkish Angora cats breeding. Like we would select our cats as we see them beautiful. So you will see the breeders that will cross some cats and not others. So they will obtain the beauty that they would expect um, and like they would search. And so that will be their vision of the beauty. And from the other side, we will have your version of the beauty as a buyer. So if we produce some cats that uh, no one likes, of, of course, we will not produce them for a long period of time, right? So it's kind of um, working together with this and it's kind of your vote and your decision ultimately. Um, like, um, well, not only yours, but also the breeders, but uh, like it's, it's kind of going towards the future of Turkish Angora. And when you, select in, you are selecting the kitten, just see which one you like best. As long as it's pedigreed and all that, as long as it's healthy and it has all the papers, um, just select based on the pictures or videos or whatever um, Just select which one you like better which one is the, is the best for you and I think um, We so we have so many people and we have um, Certain amount of breeders and I think it's good to have the variety and it's good to have um, Yeah to conserve that variation or that variance in the middle like not going say um, just one extreme or another one. I think we all will enrich, um, like we all will be richer if we include all types of, you know, all, all types of uh, preferences that people will have or the breeders will have. So I wouldn't exclude any breeders because they have that vision on Turkish Angora cat. Um, as long as it's up to, you know, some standard and as long as it's pedigreed and you know, like we're crossing Turkish Angora, like white Turkish Angora with a colored Turkish Angora. We, we are, you know, um, like on, on the same page with some important stuff. Um, I think each breeder can decide like whether it's, whether the long tail is more important than the hair of the cat or whether, you know, it prefers um, longer hairs to, you know, color of their eyes or whatever. So um, uh, as, as for you, I would say go with your heart and just decide which one you like best and just go with it because around the world you have so much uh, to choose from. You have such nice variety. There are regions of and countries that you know will grow such beautiful cats that um, if you're li living far from there, um, you can import and it's uh, such a nice feature of that all globalization thing that we can all connect and um, see which are the preferences and offer you uh, the best kitten we can have. Uh, so if you have any questions please let me know and if you know someone who can benefit from listening to this video please also share it with them and if you are a breeder and the people are asking about the different types of Turkish Angora please also be free to share this video with them. Thanks so much, bye bye!